friends and most welcome to another episode of the pep talk i know many of you have been waiting for another video from me for a long time when i say long time it's because it's been 7 days well 7 days is a long time when you are waiting for my videos because you know that every day or every alternate days i normally put the videos well today's topic on the pep talk what is it going to be it is something very very relevant in today's time applicable in today's time useful in today's time so what will the topic be well the topic is improve your virtual communication style isn't that relevant apt so high five for that well let me share my screen with you and show you the wonderful beautiful powerpoint presentation i have prepared for all of you on screen just yes, improve your virtual communication skills you know why because in today's time and in tomorrow's time it will be there online meetings online training online video conferencing online classes this is here to stay so business will have changed the way you interact way you present way you lead it would have changed and if you master this art you will be in that leading chair you know the world belongs to the four runners people who are running in the front the rest of them are at the back well choose what you want to do choose what you want your career to be so don't waste time watch this particular video let me quickly show you my next slide purpose of virtual communication you must understand what why we use it what is the purpose video conferencing and meetings yes it could be team meetings it could be client meetings it could be demo meetings it could be any kind of meetings and video conferencing we use giving instruction to other team members technical people resolving an issue yes listening to a colleague and resolving the issue could be a conflict it could be a management issue it could be a customer complaint whatever it is you can do it developing customer relationship and give customer service yes that is how you have to do in today's time training very very important and all over the place because you can't gather people you have to train and you have to learn using this client calls demo presentations of course so lots of purposes other than this also difficulties faced personally i have taken lots of sessions and i have come across this so i want to talk about this number one people put up their video cameras i don't know why then how am i going to make eye contact understand their uh, you know response whether they are understanding especially in training and client calls it's very tough background lights not good again is as good as putting up your camera sound there is noise background noise you can't hear camera quality is not good so all these things could be challenging internet connection yes if it is not there it will get hung so that won't make sense your words won't reach it will reach in buckets pockets that won't help then you have laptops ram and operating system outdated so that will also slow things down and make it difficult then we have we assume so because we can't see people at times we assume things <laughs> according to our own understanding and what a big miscommunication it is creating does it alter yes it does especially in virtual big time big time next module pseudo listening yes that is what i mean when people are put up the videos we can see people especially in trainings we think they are there but when you ask keep asking they are not there suddenly they wake up yes yes or they reply on a chat i mean that's not done who are focused listeners yes focused listeners are those who are not pseudo listening video cameras on very much focused responding by unmuting and answering and following instructions yes don't waste your company's money on training that's not fair pseudo listeners not fair 
then we have uh, what role does the body language yes very important a smile facial expression the distance from the camera everything gestures like etiquettes these are important very important body language no 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 both are different both are important and etiquettes like for example you don't mute yourself there is noise speaker get disturbed you enter a room and say hello everybody you are speaking he gets disturbed whoever it is so that it's not etiquettes next uh, is uh, virtual communication face to face change lots of changes lots of things huge 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 this is here to stay we have to this is all new game you're playing football now you're playing a rugby it's not the same zoom training other softwares yes like microsoft teams and google meet yes and others communicating one to one sometimes yes it happens one to one meeting communicating in a group that is challenging that's difficult a lot of people in the group difficult so you have to manage you have to coordinate you have to do dual work and you have to be very good at the zoom software do we need to, no 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 again one to one and group different skill sets the technically you have to be sound absolutely then we talk about uh, dressing and personality very important your virtual image goes a long way and more than face to face face to face you have chance at least to change things but in virtual it's it's like tough so you have to appear well for the meetings affect the way you communicate yes it affects nobody is going to listen if you are not presentable nobody nervous hamper nervousness yes 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 people do get nervous because they are not good at the system it and software and also that creates nervousness and it it creates you know like 50% performance goes down in your performance presenting and meeting so friends i hope you listen to this carefully i'll be coming up with more detailed uh, videos on these kind of stuff which are relevant to this time and have a great day be well until next time stay safe and keep watching the